Hey, Mass Gardeners, we're out in the garden getting ready to film something, and we found an awesome little insect that all of you are going to be eager to try to identify in your own yard. So come take a look. We found termites. Look, we got a big one down in here. Oh, where'd he go? Here he is, under here, I think. No, that's not him. Where'd that big whopper one go? We got termites under here. Here's a nice sized one right here. If you can find him. Let me stir them up and wake them all up. Oh, here's the big one. Here's the big one. Can you see him? Let me put him on the end of my stick. There he is, right there. Yeah, you got him, you got him. See, he's got one big fat head and then a large body. So what he lacks is the middle waist that an ant would have. An ant has three body parts. A termite usually is only two body parts. And he has very uh, straight antenna, which I'm going to draw a picture for you here you can look at. But yep, that's a subterranean termite. Hey, here's another big one over here. Look at this one. Look at that big one. Can you, oh, let me get him up there. Get up there, little buddy. Be on the movies. You can be in the movies. Where'd he go? Oh, I lost him. I lost him. But there's other, all kinds of them down here in my mulch. So the question everybody asks is, oh my gosh, she's got mulch with termites. Oh, is this attracting termites to your garden? And the answer to that question is over here. Let me get a pointer from my rhubarb. Mulch attracts termites? The answer is no. Does my mulch cause termites? The answer scientifically is no. Does mulch contribute to my termites? Yes, because my mulch is actually providing a cellulose food source for my termites. So yes, these termites were already existing in my yard. They're nothing new. They lived here before. I've put a whole lot of mulch on this winter and therefore I'm getting um, the termites that live in my local area are here. So there are preventative measures you should take around your home to prevent termites from infesting your house. They're very valuable in our ecosystems. Not only are they decomposing, eating roots and things, but they're also a food source for the birds and things when they swarm and move on. But very valuable because they actually till the soil, they aerate the soil, and they're consuming and breaking things down, providing food for other plants. So they are a very valuable resource in the environment, in the woods and all. We just don't like it when they become the bad guys that infest our house. So things you should do. Um, sometimes you'll find you'll buy mulch that has termites in the bag. If I did that, I would just sit my bag on a above ground for a couple days. They're subterranean. They live under the soil, so they can't survive apart from their colony. So if they come in your mulch bag, they're not going to live very long. If you want to spread your mulch out on the driveway for a little while first and toast them, and they'll die, or potentially just keep the mulch bag really dry for a couple weeks and let them all die, and then put it on your lawn. Another preventative around your house is keep, keep a couple feet of dry, barren area so the mulch does not touch your house and create a bridge between where the termites might live and your house. So if you're going to mulch those spots real thin and let it go real dry, you want a real dry atmosphere. The mulch here is contributing to them because it's moist and it's warmer. And so if I try to prevent from doing that around the foundation of my house, I can discourage them from wanting to go over there. So another thing is that's you got a nice eave on your house and it keeps it real dry around there. You shouldn't be planting shrubs within three feet of your house. You need to plan ahead when you put a shrub in and keep it at least 18 inches. You don't want anything touching the house. And then there's, when you're putting siding on your house, there's always a gap of at least six inches between the siding and the soil area. That's there for a purpose. So if you were to get termites, you would be able to see those little tunnel, the soil tunnels that they can make that would be something to watch for. So let me show you how to identify a termite because I get a lot of them that come to the extension office. If you have questions, go to your extension office or go to the Home and Garden Information Center. They'll identify them. Take a good picture of one. So here's my termite. When I look at him under the microscope, I can see his antenna are straight and they're little beady-like things, but they're straight. The antenna on an ant is elbowed, like your arm and elbow. That's a very distinctive character that you can see at home under a little small magnifying glass. The body of the termite is usually just two body parts. The ant has three body parts and he has a waist in between over here. And if you were to have find them swarming, the ones you just saw in my garden were workers. They're not swarming yet. Note. If they swarm in your yard, it means you must have an infestation nearby. You might want to call a couple exterminators to come and inspect your yard. But if you find the swarming ones, 
The wings of the ant are two different, they have four wings total, two pairs, and the two pairs are of different lengths on the ant. Whereas on the termite, they're both the same length, equal wings. You can find these identification characteristics listed in the University of Maryland um, bulletin on termites, prevention, detection. It's a 30 page bulletin we have that'll teach you all about termites, it's great. So consult that. So overall, should you call an exterminator? Yeah, it helps, call a lot of them. Compare their prices to one another. There's lots of methods. Some of them are gonna sink, depending on the type of foundation you have. Some of them are gonna do a chemical barrier against the foundation. Some are gonna say we need to do bait systems. Read the flyers to determine what type of method you need to choose. So overall, termites aren't as bad as you might think. Yeah, they are found in my mulch, but I'm not gonna freak out about it. I am gonna make sure my house has been recently inspected. There you go, master gardeners, termites.